What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about financial and physical security in this first episode. So stay tuned and let's get started. What's up YouTube? I'm back and I'm going to a format that's more familiar with me because it's easier. Like it's hard to be in front of the camera and for now I'm just going to go back to this until I can actually get back into the mode of making videos for y'all. Cuz I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been going back and forth, but didn't really know which angle that I was going to go to. I like to stick in finance and I like to stick in firearms. So I think I'm going to do a mishmash between the two because I do think there's a lot of commonality between the two, especially here in America. And in this video, I'm going to discuss why I feel that way, because for me personally, it all boils down to security, your own well-being both financially and physically. Because these days, finance allows you to live the life that you want and firearms just make sure that there's peace of mind that you can live the way that you want. Because nowadays, it's it's so crazy, especially in the neighborhoods that I'm at. Like During COVID, there were some incidents with uh, Asian hate. I don't expect many of you out there to understand or kind of be aware of what's been going on. But for the Asian community over here in the major metropolitan areas, there's been a lot of violence, mainly for senior citizens and older folks, but also people my age where just there's just random attacks in public. And it actually happened not too far from my place, right down the block from me, where a couple of old ladies were mugged. Uh, one was robbed. And... It's happening more frequently and more often, and if it were to happen to me, I don't want to be one of those people who's helpless, and I want to be one of those people who's able to empower others to help them protect themselves, because these days, people get taken advantage of way too much, because kindness is almost a weakness, which it shouldn't be. Like It's kind of sad that that's the case, uh, especially with uh, the economy going the direction that it is. I do think that there's going to be more violence in the future. Do I hope I'm wrong? Absolutely, because it would totally suck if I was right. But at the same time, it's nice to be prepared. And it's also nice to be able to have the skills to be able to help people either defend themselves, help them, give them the tools and the capabilities to help them defend themselves, uh, either through financial education or through, you know, just learning how to use the guns that they bought. Because in 2020 and 2021, 50 million new gun owners signed on and bought new guns. 50 million. Whether you like guns or not, they're out there. And that raises the number of guns out on the street to upwards of 400 plus million. There are more guns than people in the United States. And most people don't know how to use them. It really does suck that so many people have to live in fear these days. And I'm hoping that over time that changes and the general public has less fear because they either have enough of uh, financial security from all the investments that they've been doing and the training that they needed because living in fear is usually because it's the fear of the unknown and we want to minimize that as much as possible so moving forward this channel isn't going to be too much more about stacking because as I've mentioned earlier, stacking, if you've been stacking and along with this channel, you've noticed that the prices have been pretty much flat over the last five years. And it's actually pretty disappointing. It's not a good investment. It's definitely one of those things that uh, it hasn't done where what it was supposed to during times of inflation. I'm still waiting on it. I got a decent stash, but I, I, I got to be honest, I sold most of it when silver was 32 and gold was at 2000 But I still hold on to some. But not a lot because it's just too risky, to be honest. Like holding physical silver, especially silver, just because it's too heavy and too dense for what it is for the value that it is. So it's not worth enough for the amount of size that it takes. Gold, on the other hand, is better. Uh, but even that, it's better to own the ETF so that you can liquidate it at any time. Take it for what it is. Crypto has eaten up a large market or you know a large portion of would-be buyers and sellers of that and i'm not sure who is actually in the market for physical these days uh, but you know do i hope that the the price goes up 
Absolutely, because I still have some. But is it going to kill me? Absolutely not. And I hope it doesn't hurt you guys out there either because making sure you have a diversified portfolio is one of the most important things that you can do to weather storms like what we're going to see coming up because uh, it doesn't look good. But with that said, I know most of you watching this are opportunists, so these are actually really good times to look at other areas that you wanted to and then see how else you can make some additional funds because there's opportunity when there's chaos, when there's opportunity, when there's trouble. So that point, do what you can, tr keep the hustle going. It's never too late. The world is going to keep going. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep going with the firearms and finance. Uh, and hopefully you guys will join me along the way. So please comment, like, and subscribe uh, if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching.